times families have to move away from their place of residence because they are displaced displacement of a large number of families happens for the following reasons natural disasters like floods droughts earthquakes and tsunamis setting up of national parks and sanctuaries tribals living in these forests get displaced construction of roads airports and flyovers construction of dams floods and droughts floods and droughts generally affect the farmers in the villages they either lose their land or it becomes infertile they then come to the cities in search of jobs tsunami affects the people living in coastal areas generally fishermen their condition becomes pitiable fishing is the only skill they have how can they find jobs in the big cities construction of roads and dams construction of roads highways flyovers and airports displace a large number of families we do need wider roads highways flyovers etc for better commuting but it becomes quite a nuisance for the people who get displaced the government is meant to provide alternate accommodation as well as give adequate compensation the alternate accommodation may be too far away from where they were living and earning their livelihood at times the compensation may not be enough for the family to sustain themselves very often we read reports that the amount promised by the government does not reach the project affected people it gets lost somewhere in between construction of dams submerges large areas of land which includes thousands of villages and forests slum redevelopment schemes another reason for a large number of people moving from their homes is the slum redevelopment schemes in big cities like mumbai delhi and kolkata a large number of families live in slums most of the times these constructions are illegal they simply encroach on government lands the municipalities decide to demolish these shacks a decision is taken to build nice clean colonies with low cost houses for the slum dwellers but in the meantime they have to move out they don't know where to go they are very uncertain as they don't know when the scheme will be completed and if they will be allotted homes in the colony there are times when the builders make promises but they do not keep them for the banjaras moving from one place to another is their way of life they are used to it they like it but for others to leave their homes and be forced to live in a different place is a sad situation